It's not a great sign, Kate, and you're right to point that out. We're watching the rest of the Republican field really coalesce behind the former president, sort of coming home to the MAGA ideology that he has really recreated the Republican Party in the image of. Nevertheless, Haley here, where I'm standing just in the last few minutes, saying that this is now the race that she's been hoping for. She has been saying over the course of the last week that in her mind, in her campaign's mind, Ron DeSantis fell short of the expectations he himself set in Iowa. Haley shot over those expectations and now they're just hoping to do better in New Hampshire. Better of course is not them vowing that they will win here but Haley in just the last few minutes saying that she's going to be fighting until the very last second making note of the fact that in a phrase that she often uses there were a lot of fellas in her words who started in this race and that now it's just left to one fella and one lady. She punctuated that remark by saying may the best woman win. All of that of course referenced the fact that Haley is the only woman who is in this race. And again, Kate, she has been saying for many days now that it's her versus Donald Trump. In the minds of voters, some of whom I've spoke to on the ground here in New Hampshire, they said that they were in some cases entertaining Ron DeSantis or Nikki Haley. This, of course, makes that choice for them. But the fact that DeSantis is dropping out and endorsing Trump, I think, is less a question of where do the votes go? Because in my conversations with the Haley camp, they reference the fact that DeSantis was polling in single digits here. In fact, they think that they probably are going to benefit from more from the fact that the former New Jersey governor, Chris Christie, left the race a few weeks ago. Mm. More of his voters are likely to move to the Haley camp now. They're less concerned about Ron DeSantis leaving the race. But I can tell you, too, there is some snark attached to this from the Haley campaign, especially because for them, DeSantis and Haley were both sparring as people who, in her case, were governors. He is a governor. Now the Haley team feeling vindicated, at least against one of their rivals, Ron DeSantis. All right, Ali Vitale for us there. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.